In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Ahsoka Tano Clone Wars Legacy Lightsabers from Galaxy's Edge today on Sabers, Beats, and Brew. So like other Galaxy's Edge Sabers, this one comes in a nice decorative crate. There you see Ahsoka's sigil. It's all designed to look like a Star Wars crate that you would see. You know, either on the uh, Clone Wars or the TV shows or the movies. All made of rigid plastic. Now on the bottom, it gives a description of it where you put the batteries that this is Ahsoka's Tano's Clone Wars lightsaber and a few instructions there. What do you say we open this baby up? Oh, very cool. I like the presentation here. I really love the way this is laid out with the kind of like a black satin uh, pillow-like thing that the sabers sit on. It looks very cool. Let's take them out and take a look, shall we? All right, so uh, very cool-looking stuff. Little greeblies, real good details. Typical of what you would see of a Galaxy's Edge Saber. These hilts are done really well for the price point. Let's take a look at the smaller of the two because she does have two sabers. One smaller hilt, one larger hilt. Blade plug. So you'd have to use the Disney blades. This didn't come with any blades, but you can buy them at Doc Ondor, um, Doc Ondor's or go online, things like that. And this looks really cool to me. So you got to keep it. Oh, check that out, man. So it's to change colors because for most of the Clone Wars, she was green. And then in the last season when Anakin gave her her sabers back, they were blue. This is the larger of the two hilts. I like how it kind of combines an episode one Obi-Wan type pommel with sort of like the Graflex style. We've got the on off switch here. We've got, you know, little Greeblies and the, the bunny ears, I guess, right there. Another blade plug. So yeah, I guess you'd uh, have to buy two blades. There's where, again, the speaker where the sound's coming out. I don't expect much uh, given how the dark saber was as far as the sound. A little side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, it's just one that's just slightly larger. I'd say it's an inch and a half, two inches larger than the other. Feel pretty good. Yeah, you know, a little bit of weight. I think they look very nice considering it came from a cartoon and this is the real life depiction. Yeah, 
Here you can see them laid out next to each other. Uh, the, the larger one's about 12 inches. The other one's about an inch and a half smaller. Both look absolutely magnificent. This is so cool to see these things go from like a drawing and a concept that Dave Filoni came up with for the Clone Wars series and then seeing them uh, as something tangible. They both have different looking on off switches, but that's fine. And both of them have a color change switch here. So let's hook them up and see what they can do. So as usual, I'll uh, mic them up with my warm audio condenser mic, and that'll just uh, run straight into my interface, and that way we can get a good, accurate sound from the uh, from the speakers. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are uh, really cool lightsabers. Ahsoka is one of my favorite Star Wars characters to come along since the original trilogy. Um, these are really cool. They look cool. Um, they're nice and heavy and they look, I mean, I was just watching the Clone Wars the other day. They look pretty, pretty accurate as far as you can get from a cartoon. You know, the only downside is that there's those delays in swinging and the clash but if that doesn't matter to you and if being stuck with a disney blade doesn't matter to you then these are really good hilts for the money um, i like them and i'm going to hang on to them till next time <laughs>